I'ma crack down, sit your ass down. I got stuff I never had now. I could brag now. Yeah, All my niggas they gon' spend. You tired of ripping packs, wasting money, not getting anything in return? Well, visit BobMuckCoins.com and use promo code JMail for 10% off to get the God Squad you always wanted. Hey YouTube, it's your boy J Melflo, aka Mr. Let's Get Let's Go, bring y'all another Madden 17 Nano Blitz. Y'all like J Mail, you haven't uploaded Nano Blitz in forever. Well, I'm gonna show y'all. A lot of people been asking me, how do you run this Crash Blitz? You feel me? How do I run a Crash Blitz, J Mail? How do I run the Crash Blitz? Wait, let me turn auto flip, baby. All right, never mind. We're just gonna run like this. I'm gonna show y'all how exactly how I run it, no matter what side you're running it from. Usually I run it from the right, right? So here's a mistake a lot of people make. They don't, they see me run it and then like, okay. Here's the thing, they go run it and they say it's not working, it's not working, it's not working. I'm gonna show you the way I run it now. Here's what you can do if you're looking at the screen right now. You see this right here and we have Corey Lugit. You Do you guys know you can put any left, any outside linebacker there. So you can put a left, you can put Anthony Barr there, you're mutt, you can put Bud Dupree out of position, Sean Taylor, any outside linebacker you can put there. So that's why I always put a linebacker there and make sure you wanna have a fast corner on the right. Like we got Verrett there, and that's why I'm gonna show you exactly why I like to do that. You can even sub a left in here if you want to. And this is what makes this, I think this is what makes the way I run Crash Blitz so good. Just because now that we have a linebacker there, I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do now. So here we go, we're gonna come out. And this is the play, right, y'all? You see this play, this is the play. So now uh, you do not want a baseline. You can man line if you want, but I just come out. I shift my D-line to the left, crash him to the left. And, and most people will put this guy in a spy because that's a D tackle or a left end. But now we drop him back in the hook. Say you got somebody like Anthony Barr, 90-something 90, 90 zone, Telvin Smith, 90-something zone. So now you're drop, actually dropping back a linebacker or someone who can cover instead of putting him in a spy because that was a left end. Now that you have a linebacker, you can even cross man a linebacker if you want. You feel me? You hit RB, RB or LB, LB. Boom, boom, boom. Cause a lot of people see me run this three four I and they they like they see me cross man they're like why are you cross man in the left end? I'm not coach. I have a linebacker in there. I usually put Anthony Barr there or now I put out of position Tevin Smith there mutt. But if you're playing regular team, someone like Bud Dupree, Anthony Barr, Leonard Floyd, Bruce Irvin can even go there. So literally that's what I like to do. So make sure, but make sure they also have like good high block shedding. Like somebody like, like you can pick Clowney there, but. Clowny zone ain't that hard. Or somebody like Demarcus, where I don't know, it's up to you. But you can literally, then you drop him back in the zone. Then you can either drop this guy in a spy. So now you have your zone, you have your spy, and you got this heat. You can move this guy in just a little bit. And always at the start of play, I like to move this guy over and this linebacker over. I like to shade over the top and play Cloud Flats. And then literally, when they hike the ball, uh, it's unblockable. That time it got picked up. Usually, crash blitz is unblockable. It, like, the further you move them in, the more likely it is to get picked up. But I'm going to just show y'all. Uh, so, y'all, oh, my God. I forgot I'm using my sticky controller today. Basically, now the blitz is set up just like that. And all you can do is just hover here just like you would in a normal 3-4 eye. You see come in screaming just like that. And I'm going to show y'all why this is so good. Because now that you have a linebacker at that spot, you literally... You literally, you literally have, you literally have it blanketed. Because now you have a linebacker who can actually cover instead of dropping a DN back in the coverage. A lot of people have been asking me, a lot of people have been asking me like, yo, like what the, like how do you do that? Like, because usually I would cross man this guy and do something like this. Uh, this probably be my defense. This probably would actually be my defense if I saw this setup. That's literally probably exactly what I would do. And they're like, why do you do that? Why do you do that? Uh, well, it's because when you have a linebacker there, it makes it that much better. And it's unblockable heat. Like, it doesn't get picked up. And you see the field is blank lit. As long as you got good users, the blitz is OP. But like I said, uh, even when you're running other plays out this 3-4 eye and you still have a linebacker there, I'm going to show you all exactly why. Uh, you can you can even use this like with uh, like I'm gonna just go to another play. Let's, let's go to something like this. A lot of people see me running and they like yo like what are you what the heck are you doing? But I'm gonna show you just like it. So boom, I go here here. How would I make my adjustment? I would go something like this. Like a baseline. Uh, uh, then I go here. Oh, how would I do this? How would you do this, coach? I'll probably do something like this. I'll probably do something like this. And then y'all see how I guess cross man this guy off the line of scrimmage, cause that's a linebacker. So I can cross man him on digs. So then when they hike the ball, 
know what I'm saying? I still don't get my heat coming in. Y'all see how just the field get blanketed and you see how that extra defender just helps you out. And because instead of having to put him in a spy like that and doing this and you have to worry about extra people. I mean, now you have, because look, right here, then now I have to grab that right myself. But it's really up to y'all. It's just real nice to have a linebacker in that spot because now I have three people to cross, man. You feel me? Like, I have three people to cross, man. And literally, the only person I need to watch is Cordell Patterson. Uh, that That's it. But literally, that doesn't get in. Everything else is literally blanketed. And that's the way I run my 3 4 eye. And make sure you also, when you're running this 3 4 eye, make sure y'all have a... Uh, Make sure y'all have a good pass rusher right here. Like, a lot of people just pit someone with speed in there, but you got to make sure somebody, like, a good pass rusher, like Khalil Mack, anything, you know. You got Khalil Mack, Javion Clowney, people like that. Taylor Smith can even go there, but people just think, oh, let me put somebody faster. But you need somebody with high block shed and high excel and high speed for this blitz to really, really, really work. But like I said, make sure y'all taking all this into consideration. I always try to help y'all out. This is the way. That's the setup. That's the way I run my 3-4-I. And it makes it, like I said, personnel. Personnel make blitzes so deadly. Because, look, I drop a linebacker back in the hook zone. Compared to a DN, I can get a pick instead of a DN just swatting it away or not even playing a ball. And people be wondering, like, oh, I dropped him back. But, no, you dropped the left end back and you expect him to play that ball? No, that's not going to happen. Like I said, hope you all enjoyed this tip. Let, smack a like on the video. But until then, it's your boy, J. Milflow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's go.